out. My eyelids are scratchy. They're itchy. I just tried this product. What is going on? So I always get these um, patients who come in. They try a new eyelid product or eyelid cream, which causes them to have what's called an allergic reaction or an irritant to the product that they're using. So we'll discuss what it is to have contact dermatitis. Stay tuned. So as a disclaimer, this is just for educational and informational purposes only. Please seek your medical provider if you do or indeed need treatment. Hello pupils, beauty pupils. I'm an eye doctor, so okay, all right. <laughs> Anyways, um, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Seymour. I am a board certified optometrist. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about contact dermatitis. So if your eyelids get itchy, swollen, irritated, then you may have what's called eyelid dermatitis, or another word to call it is contact dermatitis. So this can often happen as an allergic reaction to a cosmetic product, um, an eye cream. So this is often from an allergic reaction to cosmetic products, eye makeup, um, and even facial washes that you use. So some symptoms that can happen if you do have this is itching, burning, like a redness or a rash over your eyelids. Um, your eyelids can become swollen or even thickened, like thickened skin. Those are some um, signs and symptoms of you possibly having what's called a contact dermatitis. Eyelid dermatitis has many causes, so it's usually due to an allergy or an irritant. For example, as I mentioned before, eye creams, um, as well as makeup and cosmetic product, products can cause contact dermatitis. So if you are having any of these signs or symptoms, of course, one thing to help get rid of the allergic reaction um, is to eliminate the product. This should also help to eliminate your symptoms once you get rid of eliminating the product that may be causing the itchiness, the redness, the rash, the swelling of the eyelids. So it's a good idea to take um, a list or keep a list or compile a list of things that you use on a daily basis to help eliminate what may be causing the issue. So if you do get like a new makeup product or eye wash or facial wash, one thing that you can do to see if you would um, possibly have an allergic reaction is to do what's called a patch test. So just taking a little bit of the product, testing it on your arm. Um, some people do like their back, but of course you may not be able to reach your back. <laughs> but anyway, usually the go-to is to do a, a, a small patch test on the back of your arm or somewhere on your arm to see if you do have an allergic reaction. So that way you'll know whether or not the product is good for you or if it does cause like a little rash on your arm, you know that it's not a good thing to apply it to your eyes. symptoms to of course visit your local eye doctor um, closer to you or located in your area. Some of the treatment options that we usually do for patients who do have contact dermatitis is to prescribe a short-term um, corticosteroid or depending on the severity of the dermatitis even an oral steroid. But of course there's risk factors as far as using steroids long term. Some things can include glaucoma, um, cataracts, skin atrophy. If you do use the steroid longer than you're supposed to. So of course it is important to follow the directions of your eye doctor um, to only use it as a short term um, medication to help reduce inflammation and the swelling that you may have um, from the contact dermatitis. It's also to keep, important to keep your eyelids clean um, and try to avoid like tr uh, touching or scratching your eyes or rubbing your eyes. Um, and then don't use like any type of makeup or uh, different scented perfumes or scrubs because that can make 
the dermatitis much worse. Because of the unique structure of the eyelid, it has a very thin epidermis with little fat, um, but it's also very highly vascularized. So it makes it more sensitive and more prone to um, it being irritated from different um, irritants. So most of, of course, contact dermatitis or eyelid dermatitis as far as like 80 to even 90% usually occur in women because we do tend to use cosmetic products more often. Not to say it happens in men, it can happen in men, um, but usually it's, it's in women, found in women. Don't forget, makeup brushes can also cause um, eyelid dermatitis. So make sure to clean your brushes regularly, um, not to keep using the same makeup brush not cleaning them can cause the the dermatitis so making sure to keep keep, in, keep the makeup brush clean is also important um so we'll also talk about other sources of eyelid dermatitis that people don't think about your nails yes your nails so sometimes people who do wear artificial nails or even um nail polishes nail polishes have ingredients in them so when you do touch your eye or apply a certain product that can be the source of what's causing um the irritant to the eye and cause you to have those itchy swollen rash around your eyes so don't forget about your nails so also keep them clean make sure to always wash your hands as well okay um another one would also be hair dye so when we're dyeing our hair if it does you know trickle down to of course that sensitive area your eyelids can also cause um, dermatitis as well i always recommend um, keeping a list of everything that you apply to your face around your eyes to help eliminate the cause of the dermatitis um, some things that you can do is, of course, use a cool compress to help relieve some of um, the discomfort from dermatitis. And of course, see your local optometrist, um, eye care professional, if it doesn't go away if, after you eliminate the product. Contact dermatitis, it can be frustrating because you have to do a process of elimination um, to figure out what is causing the issue. But once you figure out what it is, the main treatment modality is to avoid the product in itself. All right, so that's it for today. I hope you found this video to be helpful and informational. So if you do have any other topics in relation to eye beauty, cosmetics, allergic reactions, just something outside of the norm that you do wanna talk about and discuss, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you pupils later. Bye.